Let's look at shading analysis. Shading analysis is a very important uh, design issue when we select a site. Shades in principle should be eliminated, eliminated as much as possible. Even small obstacles like chimney, telephone poles should not be neglected. neglected. If in front of a PV set of panels, PV array, we have a telephone pole and the sign is behind the telephone pole, as the sun moves, there will be a line of shade. And this line of shade will move across the PV array. Later on, we'll see the effect, the reduction in the output power. So shading should be avoided. This table represents the effect of shading on a panel or on an array of panels. On the left-hand side, we, saw, we see arrays of panels. The left common column is percent of array shaded. The right column is the power loss due to the shade. See the top picture. 13% of an array is being shaded. That me, the, but that's, that causes 44% power loss. 11% of shaded array causes 47. It depends where the shade is. Look at the 9% shaded area, the, 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 the one on the center. Although there's only 9% shaded area, we lose 54% of the uh, power. And the reason that we lose so much is because the arrangement of the shade over the array. And you can see that it crosses half of the array, as opposed to the two pictures on the top. The shadow is, goes more than 50% of the width of the array. So it kills not only the left set of panels, but also the right set of panels from an output power point of view. And 6.5% of shadow, but the shadow is spread over the entire width, causing 44% of power loss.